Hi, and welcome to the video on Pythagoras Theorem. Okay, so here we've got a triangle, and we've got the height of the triangle is three centimeters, and we've got the base of it is four centimeters, and we know it's a right angle because we've got our little uh, square marked in here. And this question mark is saying we want to find out the, um, the length of this side. So the first thing you need to do is you need to locate where the hypotenuse is. So the hypotenuse, again, is right across from the right angle. So this length here is the hypotenuse, so we'll call it C. And then we'll call our other sides A and B. Okay, and just to remember, our uh, formula here is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So C squared, the hypotenuse squared, is equal to A squared, so A is 3, so 3 squared, 3 squared plus B squared, so B is 4, so we've got 4 squared. Okay, and then we just need to work out this out. So, 3 squared is going to be 9, because 3 times 3 is 9. 4 squared is 16, because 4 times 4 is 16. And we add these two numbers together, and that equals 25. Now, that is equal to C squared. What we actually need to solve for is C. So, we need to find the square root of 25. Or in other words, we need to say what number times itself gives us an answer of 25. And that number is 5. So that means the length of C or the length of our hypotenuse is 5 centimeters. Let's look at another example. So you can try this one on your own first. So I'll put the uh, formula up there for you. Um, so if you want to pause the video now and give this one a go, you can. Otherwise, uh, you can follow along with me. Now, the first thing to look at here is I've got uh, one length here is eight centimeters and one here is four millimeters. You need to look out for kind of tricks like this because you always need to work with things being in the same units. So instead of millimeters here, we can change this to being four centimeters. Okay, so now both of these lengths are in centimeters and we can move on. First thing, we need to locate our hypotenuse. Now this triangle is rotated. It looks a bit different from what we're used to, but we still have our right angle here. So that means the hypotenuse is this side here. Okay, so that's C, our hypotenuse. Okay, and A and B are the other two shorter sides. Okay, so let's work it out. C squared is equal to A squared, so A is equal to 8, plus B squared. B is equal to 4 centimeters, because we're working in centimeters. Okay, 8 squared, 8 times 8 is 64. 4 squared is 16. Okay, and that gives me an answer of 80. Now, to work out what C is, because that's what C squared is equal to, to work out what C is, I need to take the square root of 80. And that's not a perfect square number, so you're probably going to have to use your calculator to give you an answer. But the square root of 80 is about 8.9. centimeters rounded to one decimal place. 